Well, good morning and welcome to the mayor's briefing. Obviously, I'm not Mayor Longwell. Um, he is still in DC today, um, following up on the second infrastructure meeting with the White House. So uh, we left him behind to continue that good work. Uh, I am Vice Mayor Brian Fry, B-R-Y-A-N-F-R-Y-E. So um, it's good to be back in Wichita. Um, for the last few days, myself, along with the rest of the council and City Manager Layton, we're in D.C. along with the mayor, um, having meetings on the Hill in conjunction with the National League of Cities. Um, it's a very important time for us to make this trip. Um, we met with multiple federal agencies um, along with our congressional delegation to talk about issues that are very important to Wichita as well as the region. And so it was a very good few days. Um, it's always important to connect with our representatives um, to make sure that they're hearing our concerns and our priorities. Um, and it was fantastic. But it's great to be home, especially with the NCAA in town this week. Uh, you probably heard about that. Um, and so uh, a lot of great stuff happening, but we wanted to uh, bring you aware on a very important event for the city of Wichita. Next week, we're going to have a public event to bring everyone up to speed on an updated design for Nathsker Park. Um, and that's the one right adjacent to Intrust Bank Arena. And again, with this design, our goal is to make Nathsker Park a welcoming uh, public place for all of our citizens, um, as well as visitors. And a lot of energy and time has been put into this, and we're very fortunate to have an internationally known and recognized architect, Tom Bosley, um, with SWA Bosley, on this project. And, and he's coming back next week to present the updated plan um, and design, and that public event will be Wednesday, March 21st at 6 p.m. at the downtown Wichita office, which is located at 505 East Douglas. So if you'll remember, we had two public engagement events uh, in July where we looked at four different preliminary designs. We heard a lot of great feedback, um, not only at those events, but also through email and social media. Um, and thank you for all the stories that everyone did. And based on that input, Tom and his staff has reworked the designs, uh, listened very closely to all the ideas that were presented, um, and incorporated them in this new uh, rendering that will be debuted next week. And so if everyone that was at those meetings, everyone that has an interest in downtown um, and our parks, we're inviting them back to that meeting so they can see um, the latest presentation. We have the invitation listed on our City of Wichita Facebook page so you can get the details um, about when and where. Um, and I don't, are we requiring people to register? Or is it just, okay, so it's just informational. Um, so again, very exciting. NASCAR Park is continuing to move forward. And again, the whole idea is to make this a welcoming park in our core for not only all of our citizens, but all visitors. And as we continue to talk about downtown, we can't ignore the fact that we do have thousands of visitors here this week. Um, and we've made some improvements, obviously, throughout the core. Um, one of the things that we're doing because of the, the throng of people, the queue line is gonna operate from 9 a.m. Uh, today till 1 a.m. and that continues through Saturday and we expect that to see record crowds um, a lot of people going up and down Douglas and enjoying our restaurants and nightlife um, and so that's going to be a very valuable resource to use um, because of that though the Delano lunch route will not be used today or Friday um, we will still have stops along Lawrence Dumont Stadium or Douglas and McLean, it just will not have the Delano route. Um, so this is an amazing time for Wichita. Um, the spotlight is certainly on us, and the thousands of people that are here last night coming in from St. Louis on the plane, there were folks from uh, Penn and North Carolina State, uh, Missouri, 
very excited about being in Wichita and excited about seeing all the great improvements that we've made and sampling our craft beers and our local restaurants. So I'm sure that Wichita will put on uh, a great welcome mat and I encourage all citizens to continue to be great hosts. And remember, this is an opportunity to really show off how Wichita is growing. So um, I have, that's all the comments I have. Does you all have any questions today? G George? Yes, at the NLC meeting, was there any one issue that stood out for cities in, in talking with a congressional delegation? I know you've talked about infrastructure. There was a meeting at Amtrak. Uh, anything in particular that, that really stood out or top couple so, of issues? So for us as a city, we had um, four primary things that we really hit on, not only with our delegation, but also with the agencies that we met. Um, internet sales tax collection is, is a very big one. We know that we're losing out millions of dollars every year on sales tax that is not collected due to people buying products over the internet. And when you, re when you realize that we have a countywide sales tax that benefits our roads and property taxes and we're not being able to accomplish or capture any of that, that's a critical uh, missing element. Um, Certainly the North End Junction, uh, where the four highways come together, K96, 235, 135, and 254. Uh, not only is that a number one priority for us, but it's a number one priority for the county, for uh, KDOT. And so impressing upon uh, our federal partners that we need their help. Um, when you look at Kellogg and the billion dollars that we have spent on that, primarily on Wichita taxpayers, um, it'd be great to get some help for that North End project. Um, and then the other two issues that we focused on were the Equus beds and the recharging of the wells and making sure that we've got a secondary water supply. And that's important not only to Wichita, but the region, because so much agricultural business relies on that Equus bed supply. And then as we move forward on, on a water treatment plant, and currently we just have the one downtown, but we know that as Wichita grows and continues, we're going to need a, a second treatment plant, primarily also for redundancy, because right now we don't have a redundancy on the water treatment plant we have downtown. So those four issues, um, those are the agencies that we met with, as well as our congressional. So that's really what we hit hard. Does that answer your question? Okay. Anyone else? All right. Well, go Shocks, go Hawks, and go Cats. Thank you.